in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make and apply the most powerful Moringa leaf hair mask in the prevention of balding, hair fall, shedding and thinning and to increase your hair growth like never before. So keep on watching. Okay, so first up we have got shea butter. Now this is food grade shea butter, organic, absolutely amazing, really beautiful. So the common misconception with shea butter is that it must be off-white. You can get it as a really deep yellow or white and it's still shea butter. But careful that you are not being sold a butter, an African butter called Kapenyan butter. And the way that you all know if it is shea butter is that shea butter is really creamy and really moisturizing and melts easily. Whereas African butter is more hard and granulate. So next we want to be adding olive oil. Olive oil is full of antioxidants and promotes healthy hair growth. Olive oil has a small molecular weight which means it absorbs easily into the hair shaft and cuticles. Coconut oil has lauric acid and has a small molecular weight, so it is easily absorbed through the hair shaft, softening and conditioning the hair. Jamaican black castor oil is full of omega-6 fatty acids, Racinoic acid, castor oil can promote healthy hair growth and thicken the hair. MSN powder, and I'm showing you um, the bigger packet that I had, which I didn't have at the time of filming. So MSN is a sulfur. Sulfur increases the hair growth rate the anagen phase which is responsible for hair growth. So it is a powder, it can come as a crystal, it's better to be consumed but you can also put it on your hair, just be careful not to use too much as it is very dry and could be too irritating. So you want to mix it all together, combine it all together so that it's perfectly mixed in and then you want to give it a hot water bath so that it all melts together. You don't want to be putting it over a pan or in the microwave because that will kill all of the rich goodness that's inside. So as you can see there, it's all melted, which is perfect. It didn't take too long at all. And then you'll want to grab some cling film and wrap it up and put it in the fridge and leave it in the fridge until it just about gets hard. You don't want it to get fully hard, but at the stage just before it starts to harden. And that takes about half an hour or so. So as you can see, I've taken it out of the fridge and it is soft and not too hard and very oily, which is amazing, it's so beautiful. So in the second phase, we're going to be using fenugreek so fenugreek has nicotinic acid, which penetrates the hair roots, stimulates blood circulation into the hair, increasing the growth rate. So what I've done here is I've left the fenugreek in some distilled warm water overnight to release all of the goodness. Fenugreek smells like licorice, so that might not be your thing, but it's well worth it to do this because the properties are amazing. Next we have Moringa leaf powder. Moringa is a protein, so it strengthens the hair and is best consumed topically, but it doesn't taste the best, but it can be used in smoothies to disguise it, but you can also use it in your hair as well. So you've got the best of both worlds. So what I'm doing here is I'm just mixing the Moringa and the fenugreek together so that the powder from the Moringa doesn't go flying when I blend this together. So I'm just using my handheld blender to mix it all together to create a beautiful butter. 
And we don't want to forget the peppermint oil. Peppermint oil gives you that tingling sensation. It stimulates hair growth. Great for thinning hair as it increases hair follicles. If you do have thinning hair in certain areas, you can add it to a base, an oil of your choice, possibly coconut oil, and add it directly to the affected area. So we're just adding the additional mixture. It's quite dark, don't be alarmed. All the measurements here are done by eye. It's not really crazy necessary to fit to a certain amount. Just use your eye, gauge it how you like. Remember it's all natural, all moisturizing. You can't really go wrong. So look at that butter, that looks amazing, so creamy. And then you just want to add it to a tub of your choice. Look at that, that looks good. It looks almost edible. So I had quite a bit still left over, so I put the rest in another tub and I will put that tub in the freezer. And the first one I will just leave in the fridge. So here is all that you need. So here we are, I've got freshly washed hair. I like to make sure that I apply my hair mask after I have shampooed my hair and not before conditioning. The reason you want to do this after you shampoo, because shampooing opens up your hair cuticles, allowing the moisture from the mask and all of that goodness to be absorbed and bonds to be rebuilt. And then after you have done your mask and left it in for half an hour to an hour, you'll wash it out and apply a conditioner and leave in conditioner, which will then seal in all of the goodness into the cuticles. So I'm just applying it to my hair, not too close to the scalp, just fairly close to the roots. It is so moisturizing. The shea butter is absolutely magic in this. If you didn't have the shea butter, it would be really quite drying from the Moringa powder itself. This mask is hands down one of my most favorite hair masks because it literally is full of the most amazing products. If you found this video useful, you've got to let me know by slamming the like button. Comment down below if you have any questions. I will do my best to answer you. I always do my best. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, Han, because if you got this far, you must be enjoying my content. As you can see, one tub got through my whole hair, so you got to just lather it on at the end of the day. Just put as much on as you possibly can coat your hair and then you will put a plastic bag or a shower cap on your hair to create the greenhouse effect which will really allow the product to soak into your cuticles for half an hour to an hour and that is it see you in the next video Bye.